Okay, welcome to our channel, and we thank you for clicking on this video. On this occasion, we will look at the differences in Android specs between the Sony Xperia 5 Mark IV and the Samsung Galaxy S23. And okay, let's just start in terms of body material. For the front and back protection, these two phones are made of different versions of Gorilla Glass Victus. For the Xperia 5 Mark IV they use Gorilla Glass Victus, while for the Galaxy S23 it is Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For the frame, they are also made of the same material, from aluminum. And for water and dust resistance, both are also equipped with IP68 certification, which means they are water resistant to a depth of 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. Next on the screen. For the screen size, these two cell phones are the same size at 6.1 inches with the same resolution, namely full HD please, with support for a refresh rate of 120 Hz. And for the ratio, the Xperia 5 Mark IV has a ratio of 21 to 9, which of course this phone has an elongated shape. Then the Samsung Galaxy S23 has a ratio of 19.5 to 9, which makes this phone feel wider when held. Then for the panel, the Xperia 5 Mark IV carries an OLED panel, and the Galaxy S23 carries a panel, Dynamic AMOLED 2X. In the adaptive refresh rate section, Xperia 5 Mark IV is not yet supported and for the Galaxy S23 it is supported. And here are the specs in more detail. So according to the times, if you look at the screen specs, the Samsung Galaxy S23 dominates because it already uses a better and newest panel and has a higher brightness level as well. Then on the platform. For the OS at the time of launch, the Xperia 5 Mark IV is on Android 12, which can already be upgraded to Android 13. For the RAM variant, there is one type, namely 8GB LPDDR5, with two types of internal storage, namely, 128 and 256GB UFS 3.1, which is also supported with additional storage cards of up to 1TB. Meanwhile, for the Galaxy S23, for the OS when it was initially launched it was on Android 13, which for the various RAM variants is available one type, namely, 8GB LPDDR5X, and three different choices of memory variants, 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB with the type of drive, UFS 4.0. Next, in the performance section. For the chipset section, indeed, these two phones carry the same flagship class chipset made by Qualcomm. Different generations. For the Xperia 5 Mark IV, it uses Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, while the Galaxy S23 uses Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Of course, both are made with the same 4 nano fabrication. Which for the results in the performance section, it is clear that the Samsung Galaxy S23 is superior. Continue on the camera. For the camera section, both of these phones also carry 3 camera lenses. For Xperia 5 Mark IV it is supported by Zeiss Optics, Zeiss T asterisk lens coating, which for the main camera has a resolution, 12MPF slash 1.7 which is equipped with OIS, 12MPF slash 2.4 as a telephoto lens with 2.5 optical zoom, which is also equipped with support with OIS, as well as 12MPF slash 2.2 as an ultra-wide lens. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S23 has a main camera with a resolution of 50MPF-1.8 which is supported by OIS, 10MPF-2.4 as a telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom, which is also supported by OIS, and 12MPF-2.2 as an ultra-wide lens. And for maximum video recording, the Xperia 5 Mark IV can record up to 4K 120 frames per second, and the Galaxy S23 can record up to 8K 30 frames per second. And for results on paper, especially for taking auto mode, the Galaxy S23 is indeed superior, but if you are a fan of photography or videography, maybe the Xperia 5 Mark IV can be an option because Xperia 5 Mark IV is equipped with three default Sony applications such as Video Pro, Photo Pro, and Cinema Pro. Of course, this application is not available for phones other than Sony. And for the front camera, these two phones both carry a resolution of 12MP, both of which are also capable of recording video up to 4K, for the Xperia 5 Mark IV at 30fps, and the Galaxy S23 at 60fps. 
Then in the battery and charging section. For battery capacity, the Xperia 5 Mark IV is equipped with a battery capacity of 5000 mAh, with 30 Watt fast charging. And it's different from the Galaxy S23, which is only equipped with a capacity battery, 3900 mAh with fast charging at 25 watts. For wireless charging, both are also supported. Then, in the audio quality section and also its features. For audio quality, these two Androids both carry dual speakers or stereo speakers. For Xperia 5 Mark IV, the dynamic vibration system feature is also supported. And in the 3.5mm jack port, Xperia 5 Mark IV is still supported, and Galaxy S23 is not supported. For its features, the Xperia 5 Mark IV features a native Sony Alpha camera and a shutter camera button. While the Galaxy S23 has features such as Samsung DeX, Samsung Wireless DeX, Desktop Experience Support, Bixby Natural Language Commands, Dictation, and also Samsung Pay. And for security or fingerprints, the Xperia 5 Mark IV is equipped with an inside fingerprint, while the Galaxy S23 uses a fingerprint IN display. Continue in the section on connectivity. For the network part, it is clear that both are supported by the 5G network, NFC is also supported, and for the USB port, both of them use USB Type-C version 3.2. Lastly, Conclusion. To conclude, the Samsung Galaxy S23 is indeed more dominating on various sides, such as layers, performance, and the camera in auto mode. However, for battery capacity, the Xperia 5 Mark IV dominates, apart from that if you are a photography enthusiast or content creator, maybe the Xperia 5 Mark IV can be a recommendation for you because it has three built-in camera applications, as I explained earlier. Maybe that's all we can inform, if there is a wrong word or lack of information we apologize.